Let's start off by talking about the Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins Universal Championship. Oh, you mean the only good thing that was on that show? Yeah, that was Minus the, the only finish. good match. The only good match. Minus ball. the finish. Minus um, the finish. The finish, uh, I, I wish they could have done something better with that. Uh having them go at it with a DQ to me is just not the appropriate right way to end this type of main event caliber five-star matchup because that's what it was. These two know each other very well. You think about the days they were together in the shield, the days they had the short rivalries between 2012 and 2015, all of those times. And you really, you you could really see how well the chemistry unfolded between them in the ring. And it was just a shame for it to end that way. And you can tell the fans were not on board with it. They didn't like it one bit. They, they wanted a different aspect of the match. They wanted to see something end entirely in a, a gigantic way that was going to shock people. And they, the fans really didn't get that. No, for sure. I think it was definitely something that I thought the whole pay-per-view was messy. It was sloppy. It was done in a way that it was once the, the, the disqualification happened, it went downhill very mm-hmm. quickly. Very fast. That was probably the worst Royal Rumble. And I've seen a lot. That was probably the worst Royal Rumble I think I've ever watched. Mm-hmm. That's really saying a lot. And I've seen some pretty bad ones. The Roman Seth match was really good. I love the shield aspect of it. Like you said, I thought it was great. Seth is kind of like the Joker character a little bit. Um, yeah, he really is. The Joaquin Phoenix one, the recent one, the disqualification was a little weird. I didn't really care about the Dewdrop Becky match. It had nothing to mean, no mean to me, or any, uh, you know, because we knew who was going to win. The women's match was there. The, yeah, uh, the women's Royal Rumble was kind of fair. Um, it had a lot. Of, it had a lot I mean, more. It started, it started badly when Molina got eliminated. You know, Molina got eliminated accidentally. That was not how mm-hmm. she was supposed to be eliminated. And Sasha just sat in the ring, just chilling. They spoiled a lot of the surprises. Um, we knew that. Everybody heard Ronda was coming back. She was in the area. And once we heard her music go off, I think the women's match completely missed the boat on having a Ronda Shayna moment because you know they're best friends in the four horsewomen, same style. I don't know if Lyle got his um thoughts on the rumble in. I don't think he did. Um, so maybe next week we'll hear from him yeah. about it. Um, I mean, the only good thing to come from the Women's Royal Rumble that I saw in particular that I liked was when Sarah Logan came out and he saw Liv Morgan kind of like stagger and get up and see that her friend was coming back out, like to see her friend hit the stage for the first time in like over a year or two. Uh, that was that was a great uh, way to pull that off, to have that chemistry match match back in because they were part of the riot squad with uh, Ruby Soho. And uh, it, it was it was a big moment for both of them. The thing of it is, is even the Edge match. Listen, those are four, t- you know, people, good people. Um, mm-hmm. Two of them are Hall of Famers. I think the Miz will be a future Hall of Famer. Um, it was a match I didn't care about. I know care in it, um, and that sounds terrible to say, but it's true. I mean, there were no surprises in the men's match. None. No, none. You whatsoever. didn't get any, and. What it showed me was that roster. It's very limited. It's very. limited because they don't have the the structure there where there's an uber superstar that's so over that people go to like when Brock's music. I, I I said it after the Brock Bobby match. I said Brock's gonna win the Rumble, and yeah, and he did, yeah. and he did, and I heard Brock's music go, and then I said, "Up, oh, that's it. It's over. It's over. It's done. No, he he's throwing everybody out." Done, done, bing, bang, boom. He's done in Woods it in like five minutes. He F5s, Drew McIntyre out of the ring. It's over, done. You get Brock and, and Roman again for Mania, which is what the prediction was from a lot of people. We'll see if Brock wins at Saudi in a few weeks, and maybe they do do a title for title match. If Brock beats Bobby, I would feel bad for Lashley. And another argument Lyle and I had was, I don't know how you give him credibility with a win where Roman helped him. Wins he a win. Can't. He, he, you can't. He has to do it on his own. He has no, to win. No, but, no, but even no, but even still, though, a win is a win against Brock Lesnar. It's on your resume. When Kenny Omega won the world championship and he got help beating Moxley, is that yep. doesn't that hurt the credibility then? No. Like that's that's so it, wait. So yeah, you do have a point with that. This is what I'm saying. So it's like how many times did Seth Rollins, when he was in the authority, get help winning the championship in all his matches with J and J security? 